everybody back for another update on the long shop um, I finished doing the sanding on it the scraping and then the sanding cleaned it with that uh, saddle soap then I ended up dyeing it because it was just didn't look right and so this is kind of what we got you know there are some spots in the leather that I can't fix you know so it kind of is what it is at this point but I'm you know like there's some kind of dents and stuff in there but it almost adds kind of the charm of the pipe I still have to I did ream it already but I do have to clean up the top just some more yet but I think all things considered especially the condition in which the pipe was when I got it I'm pretty happy with it you know I wish there was more I could fix on it leather wise but you know what this is a pretty good project any of you guys really want a good challenge um get one of these leather pipes and try and restore them it's it's an interesting process so yeah give it a shot even maybe start with one maybe a no-name pipe and see what happens but I did buff this out I did exactly those steps I I kind of used that cleaner cleaned it so it had a little it kind of rejuvenated the leather a little bit and then scraped off a lot of that old top coat then took some 220 and then went a couple of my micro mesh pads and really smoothed out the leather cleaned it again with that saddle soap I figured what the hey I'll see if the, <laughs> the leather dial go penetrate through it and it did and just kind of used some of that and then took it to the buffing wheel and hey I have no complaints just got to finish up the top a little bit and uh, the stem so let me know what you guys think we'll talk to you later